it's been a while. I'm at the very northern part of Kyoto Prefecture. Actually, it's divided by two parts now. The west, Nishi, and then the east, Higashimaizuru, and then the east part is more like a military base since the Meiji era. And here at uh, Nishimaizuru is where it used to be uh, the castle town for uh, I think Hosogawa, that's the name of the samurai or the daimyo that used to be the, the lord of this area and then I'm at the castle uh, Tanabe, Tanabe Castle that's uh, just a few minutes walk from uh, the station but uh, I'll just be kind of walking around and actually um, in, in the old castle town area where a lot of machia are still left and then some of them were actually uh, on sale um, I don't know if they are still on sale now but they are really cheap for a few million yen and one of them only for uh, 4k USD uh, in that Yoshihara area which is, which is the, uh, the Venus of uh, Japan that's what they call so let's go take right by the castle here very neat traditional fence but uh, modern building inside elementary school what a nice fence for elementary school looks to be abandoned another abandoned Kominka house Facing the main road here. And now reaching the canal, Yoshihara Canal, the mountainside, all the way on that end will be Yoshihara. All the Machia houses, all the old houses are in this street, uh, including the $4,000 Machia which we're going to see um, unfortunately cannot see the inside just because there's no time to make arrangements with the agent and it's such a cheap property I think the agent is probably tired of you know inquiries that are not related to actually buying the place um, so unless you're really serious you speak Japanese uh, and you know, can see the place in person please don't bother sending an inquiry to the agent I'm going to share the link anyway uh, so just so if you're interested vending machine for beer, alcohol well half of them are gone but I think it's still working I think it's this one this is how it looks like on um, the back side of these houses very very nice I think I've seen photos of this place on a snowy day even better um, all the water comes out of the house goes to the river so I don't know how clean it is um, but that house we just saw doesn't seem to be on sale so let's let's go a little bit deeper there should be like a plate saying that this is on sale oh there's a cat there's a cat on the second floor do you spot it? I don't know, is this this one? Seems like somebody's fixing it. It looks so similar, I don't know which one's which. Oh, there we go. This is the one. Sounds 
process is still on sale. Very nice looking on the side. Can't believe a house like this is only 4K. Amazing. Oh, I can go inside, so let's go to the back. This is uh, probably the back of the house. One of the house over there. I don't know which one. Again, amazing. So the plate is there. Anyone who's interested, speak Japanese, can move here. Can go ahead. Yoshihara. Another view of the house again. Beautiful. This row here is a lot wider, um, but the style of these houses are all the same. They all, 90-80% of them are still remaining, which is quite amazing. Even compared to like Kyoto, that you almost don't find like an area with so many these Machia houses, they're still um, intact. This is a cultural heritage, by the way. Public bath. So uh, I actually spotted a second property that is on sale here. I don't know the price, um, but it should be much as well. A little bit more modern, but for sale. I can check how much it is and then I'll probably share another link with this place. I think this is the end of the Yoshihara area. Just going back to the canal. So I'm leaving now the Yoshihara area, which is on the right hand side. And this is the main stream, main canal. On the other end, would be the downtown um, old castle town area where there should be also a lot of machia left but a different style I guess than the ones that we see in Yoshiho, Yoshihara over here Finally, we're going to escape the busy main road and here we are at the more castle town area where you can see the houses they're a lot bigger wider uh, and over here another cultural heritage actually I think this was also on sale for uh, 3 million, 4 million yen a while ago. It doesn't seem to be on sale now. There's no play. But uh, the back of this also connects to the, the other side of the canal. So I guess this is also a house that's related to uh, the, the, the fishing seafood business. This one in particular 
really nice looking. So compared to some of the other old towns that I've seen, I feel like the Mysore area has a lot much here, a lot of much here. They're still standing. Not that many for sale, I guess. Such a nice looking house. When telephone was only just available, you only needed two, dig two digits, so 13 for this house. <coughs> See that color over there, rainbow. The sign of Showa. Colorful. Now, that building at the end of this street is something that looks very, very interesting. Uh, meat shop still running. These are likely resident, residential. Seems like the end, maybe like a tea house street. I don't know, they look really nice. Uh, Ryokan? Alright. Well, to wrap up this episode, I am presenting you one last Majia for sale. Condition doesn't look that great, but it's inside a shopping street, so must be very convenient. Plus, I believe the uh, the back of this property you would have this view. Not too bad. Not too bad. roof tile, the wall, everything seems to be in pretty bad shape but let's see how much this costs all right I've made a circle back to the shopping street we have a very energetic lively bookstore very good thing always good to have a bookstore in the shopping street Battery is officially cut off, so I'm going to have to say bye here.